Bonjour les amis, do you want to be going in a French immersion retreat or do you want to feel like you're immersing when you go to Paris and yet you feel that you are a beginner, you don't have vocabulary, um, pronunciation doesn't come easily, uh, grammar uh, eludes you whenever you need it most. I'm Leanne Stanfield and uh, you are watching a French immersion for beginners where I am showing you eight techniques that you are not using and that is the reason why you keep learning and relearning or when you try to learn in the first place it's not stick, it doesn't stick. So uh, today I'm going to share with you technique number four and uh, in today's webinar I pull them together and so if you want to see how you can use them together and what comes after what and how to you know put them together and, and make them your own please watch uh, the webinar that is on this uh, page. Uh, these videos don't stay on Facebook, they expire. So if you would like to have access, unlimited access to all the eight uh, videos, please click on the link in the description of this video and put yourself on the waiting list for the French Immersion Retreat and I'm going to give you all the resources that you need to prepare for it. So today is... Um, Technique number eight, and this has to do a lot of uh, very uh, neuroscientific uh, approach, meaning we need to know how our brain works and how we memorize better, easier, and faster, and how we forget um, less. So our brain memorizes everything that we attach emotion to. So do you, did you uh, notice that you have a memory of um, every, the happiest moments of your life and the saddest moments of your life? So if you notice that, then that means that you're already aware of the fact that wherever you, uh, whatever you attach an emotion to, it sticks to the memory. Now, yes, there are uh, other theories that say that the worst memories we don't remember because uh, it's a protection um, a reflex. So we kind of uh, uh, forget, like we want to forget what we don't want to remember type of thing. But now we're talking about words in French and this is not something that, you know, would pertain to that. How do we attach emotion to words, to uh, verbs, and to um, sentences and structure and things that seem to be so left brain that there doesn't seem to be a lot of right brain left for us to play with, but there is. So this is the reason why every time when I'm giving you um, exercises in any of the webinars that I'm giving you exercises, I tell you, please make the sentence something that is meaningful to you. Talk about things that drive an emotion, uh, that uh, trigger, sorry, trigger an emotion from you, whether it be positive or negative emotion. Let it be an emotion, no matter what emotion that is. So the moment you are making all the exercises, all the sentences that you make an exercise ready right, practice with, if you make them about your experiences, about the things that you really want the most to happen or the things that you don't want to happen, something that you're happy about and something that you're really sad about. So don't just choose the happy moments. Any kind of emotion works. And because that is a very sub subjective thing and you don't, we don't quite realize, well, this, did this trigger an emotion in me? Because I don't realize if it did. Anything that is memory related, a memory is in like anything that is personal, any kind of experience that you went through, your own experience, we attach emotion to all of our experiences. Um, even if they feel like neutral, 
they're ours and so we do have an emotional response to them so when you're making the examples when you're making the sentences uh, for verbs for instance the way I'm telling you don't just run the verb um, like to memorize it like blankly like this like white uh, make sentences with your verbs and that's what's going to help you memorize them the easiest the fastest uh, could be fun too uh, but the point is that it has to be something that is from your own personal um, experience because that way our brain trigger is triggered by emotion and we memorize it best so it is said that any information combined with an emotion it gets burned into the brain and that is the truth every single emotional experience that we have we do remember it so this is technique number four which is so important now you may experience Hecht that I am telling you a lot of French stuff that you can repeat after me and then memorize. You have so many resources for that. And if they would work, you would not watch this video. So please click on the link in the description of this video. It is the waiting list to the immersion retreat. If this is what you're looking for, just know that only if you click on that link will you have access, unlimited access to all the wait, uh, eight videos with the eight techniques that I'm sharing and I'm using inside of Joalat Intensive, which is my signature program that helps you reach an advanced level of conversation. And it's called Intensive, uh, and it's very like 100% customized to you, so it can be as intensive as it works for you. So there are people who finish it in three months, people who finish it in two years. That is their uh, idea of an intensive work on French. So uh, um, please. Uh, uh, give me your uh, questions in the comments below and share this video with anyone that you know uh, that would benefit from techniques to help them learn French uh, in an efficient way. Merci beaucoup et à demain. Au revoir.